So, guess that's what happens when you try to order stuff online and stay safe from the quarantine, during the quarantine. I ordered some products a couple months ago so I could do a, a full detail on my car. Um, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, Ultimate Polish, and wax and all that stuff. And they substituted something for the Ultimate Polish. So now I gotta go to Pep Boys and pick it up. Curbside pickup, still contactless. As long as we're still staying safe and as long as I don't waste my time. And we're back home, finally. Oh, now I can get this work done. I think it took forever. Curbside pickup, keep it safe. First of all, welcome back to another day on the Auto Details channel. Now the project starts. Paint correction. So first I gotta wash it. And what I'm going to wash it with is Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash. Then I'm gonna have to clay bar it. Take any uh, toxins off. Once we do that, I'm gonna start the ultimate compound. By the way, doing everything by hand. Um, I don't really trust the machine too much. I don't want to go too deep into the paint. So next we do the uh, ultimate polish after the compound. Then we're going to do this paste wax and then the fast finish. Hopefully I'm going to bring you guys along with this journey, but I don't know how much recording I'm going to do because it's going to be kind of tedious. All right, now that the wash is done, got to dry it off. All done drying, now it's time to clay bar. Detail, keep it wet because while you're clay barring, you, wanna, you gotta keep the car wet so that it, you know, obviously it glides over. Just trying to get any, anything that might be stuck to the paint off so that when you do start to wax or compound, you're not rubbing it into the paint. Comes with some microfiber rags and two clay bar. When you first get the clay you should break it in half this is actually one it comes with two of these break it in half one should be good enough for a whole car so because once you drop it if it falls on the ground that's it you got to throw it out so this gives you a couple more chances of getting this thing done right so what you want to do is wet it as much as you can maybe a panel at a time depends on how big your car is you're gonna just slowly go over it, little by little. Either way, up, down, side to side, doesn't really matter as long as you are getting over every piece of the uh, paint. It's not gonna make it look any better, but it will prepare it. Clay barring is done. And what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use this uh, drying canister to get any water, any kind of liquid that's still caught in any kind of crevices or anything like that. That way, when I start the compound, you know, I won't, I won't get anything wet. All right, so now I'm all done drying it up. So I'm trying to get a good picture so you can see the actual paint, what it looks like. Um, you can kind of see some scratches there. Hopefully once we compound, that will look a lot better. So now what we're gonna be using is this ultimate compound course and what I'm gonna be applying it with is these uh, microfiber applicators. For my research, it's the best thing to use to uh, apply it, so. So I'm just gonna put a couple drops on here and begin.
doing it by hand is gonna take a lot of work, so you don't wanna do too much at once. So I'm gonna do half of the trunk, or if you're British. No, bonnet, they call it bonnet, is that what they call it? Anyway, <laughs> do half of it and really, really swirl, really, really, actually it doesn't matter if you're doing swirls or you're going like this, just as long as you're getting good coverage. I like the swirls because then I can see where I've gone. To take it off, microfiber rags, you're gonna see tons of microfiber rags throughout any video that I'm doing detailing on this car. So I put it in fours, that way you can flip it over, but just wipe it off. So, if you look, you can see, I did right up to this spot right here. You can see exactly where I stopped. Over here, you should be able to see, I don't know if this is really catching it in the, in the camera, but that's the difference of doing it by machine and by hand. If you do it by hand, you might have to go over it again and rub a little more just to get the surface scratches off. But I'm gonna do the whole car, attempt to do this whole car, and we'll see how it comes out. Oh! -ho! Oh my God, I can't even begin to tell you how tough this is. This is hard work, hard work. Um, But it looks pretty good so far. So now we gotta do the polish. Um, Where is that polish? Here's the polish. We're gonna use this and we're gonna apply it with a foam polishing disc. Now this is the disc that you would use if you were using a uh, machine, but the polish is pretty rich, like almost oily, so it should be a pretty easy on, easy off. The polish is actually a little bit easier than the compound. Comes off a little better, not as much elbow grease. So we work that in. Finish this car up and see how it looks. So I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up, but you can kind of see the little waves in it. Now, whew, it's been a long day. Wash, wash, Clay bar, wash done, the clay bar, the compound, and the polish. Now, it's time for the wax. Now, we're gonna use this ultimate paste wax. So everything that I've done so far between the compound and the polish, nothing's protecting it. It helps the paint, but nothing is protecting it. So we gotta put some protectant on it. All right, so comes with okay. I believe it's got the pad already in it. What you're gonna do is put it on, let it paste up, and you know the wax is done. I'll show you that once we get there. What you're gonna do is take your pad and you're gonna turn it like a slight turn. And you're gonna put some lines and that should be enough to do this section, right? You don't want to go too crazy because you already did all the work doing the paint correction. So you just want to do nice and light. And this should be enough to do this section. Nice and light. Now we let that cure through the whole car and then we come back to the spot. So now that we got the wax on, you gotta give it some time, let it cure. The way you know if it's cured or not is uh, take your finger and go like this. If it comes off, then you know it's cured. But it's not really that clean, so you may need to let it sit for a little longer. Yeah, if it comes off completely, then you know it's ready to uh, come off. But 
let it cure for a few more minutes and then we'll take it off. All right, so let's check our wax and see if it's ready. Yes, we are ready to remove. So this should be pretty easy off. Like I said, we already did all the hard work. So this should be the easy part. This is gonna protect synthetic wax, so you can put a nice layer of protection on it. All right, got a lot more work to do. So I am sweating, super sweating. Ooh, some air come out of that garage. So I think I'm done. As a matter of fact, no, I think there's one more step. One more step. Now, last but not least, we got the ultimate fast finish is what we're gonna put on here for extra protection. Spray can. Squires is nice, man. It comes with all these rags and sometimes I bought a bunch of extra rags, but it comes with all of them, which is even better. Can't beat that. So this is the final step. Um, remember I said the fast finish. This is very easy. Everything else was tough. This is easy. Just spray on. And wet. So there's no buffing. Just let it kind of do its thing. Extra protection after a long, long day of detailing. You don't want to have to do it again. So, do the whole car. We'll be right back. All right, so let's review. Uh, this detailing day, this paint correction day. Number one, we washed the car. The gold class car wash. After that... We dried it off and we hit it with the clay bar. After the clay bar, we hit it with the ultimate compound, then the ultimate polish, then the ultimate paste wax, and then the fast finished. Long day, but fast forward, see our results. I don't even know if this camera is picking up as clean as the car is, but oh my gosh. The shine is crazy. I, I can't even explain it to you. It looks so dark and so glossy. So after a day of detailing and paint correction, I'm satisfied with the results. Didn't cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Tried it myself, we're all quarantined now, social distancing, I got nothing but time. Why not try it? I love cars, I love my car, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I like it. Until next time, thank you guys for checking in. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, Give me a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys very soon with some new content. Matter of fact, I will be seeing you soon because I have a new grill. If you recall, we had a broken piece right here and I ordered a new one. So next video, we'll be putting that on. All right, thanks for checking in guys. See you soon.